All right. Good block there, Wing. Look at that. I was impressed. You got you got him. You got this wing. Yeah, it's cool hearing those guys talk oh. in the back and talking about EGF and so on. Oh, oh. It's not going to kill. Nice extension. Oh, good. Almost catch there. Oh, so close. Oh, you got the swing. Oh, the, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, hey. oh, oh, oh. oh man. Oh, <laughs> it's rough. Oh, man. Sorry, Allegari. Uh, I'm I'm gonna fix I'm gonna fix uh, Nightbot in a bit. He's he does a uh, caps, so just don't speak in caps. I'll fix it next time. I put Night on Nightbot in here so we could do stuff like uh, you type in Discord, you can find out what the Discord server is and stuff like that. But I forgot to moderate it so you don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, so give me one moment here. <laughs> there you go. Stuff like that. So, uh, oops, you're not supposed. I'm just pulling back up the uh, other thing here where we can see the next matches. So before we get started, uh, there is a bracket I've got made for what was going on. So we can kind of keep track with everything on a little side bracket. So you'll see it right here. I've replicated it. It's not exactly perfect because uh, because it was coming from loser side. Some of these people on the left, these matches didn't happen. So I just had to set it up. Top eight is this though. Elven Shadow and Hano and winners. Teresa and Mike Zine winners. Classic Fighting Gamer and DQRF and losers. Mr. Two and Wukash and losers. So we'll watch the majority of these matches. I'll kind of keep track of this as it's going on. So. To begin. Got Hano and Elven Shadow. Yeah, fuck justice. <laughs> yeah, fuck justice. Come on, Rod, I want to read for you. What is this? What's that? Is this going to be shaking hand footage? Yep. The best kind. Exactly. Somebody, he went over there. Yeah, 
We got like a 4K Aver Media is giving us errors, so. Good old shaky cam. Good old school footage. Hit the VCR. No tripod even. I know, right? So regarding the double jeopardy wing zero, if if it had gotten where you had a double jeopardy, I would have swapped your spot in the uh, in the bracket. Uh, Smash CG lets me do that kind of thing now to just to prevent like double jeopardy. So I would have swapped you around so you wouldn't have gotten a double jeopardy. So Hano, why did you pick uh, why did you pick Justice against Elven Shadow for this match here? Just trying to outrange the uh, the Faust. He does seem to be getting hit by a lot of normal stuff, like the, uh, the Justice overhead. Maybe he just doesn't have that much Justice experience. A little bit. Also in caps wing. Jeez, such a spammer. Dirty, dirty cap spammer. Man, <laughs> stopped you for 600 seconds. Well, I wish I could stop that, man. Uh, it's too late right now in the thing to do it. Damn, I didn't mean for it to be that brutal, Jesus. Okay, some good distance tools. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you know, as is a faster character, but you know, like like what I say is you know, if you want to beat a character with long range, get longer range, right? I just feel, I just, I just feel bad the wings in the uh, the timeout box here. Six hundred seconds with no. Uh, where he's not allowed to talk. It's brutal. Yeah, justice is good. Makes sense. Yeah. Now I see you use that uh, that gamma move a lot more, the one where it's a, a beam that goes uh, in a circle. Uh, I see you use that more than a lot of the other Justice players, like uh, like Mr. Two or like uh, Tronzilla. Is it just that I happen to be watching it when it's certain timing, like, um, like you're going to try and chip him to death or something like that? Because that makes more sense. Or is it actually like a far more useful move? Yeah, Imperial Ray. So first point here goes to Hano. Very classic uh, Faust move. Cancel your uh, your dive kick into something else. Pardon me. Yeah, OTG damage. I mean, it's gonna do one hit, one damage per hit, but you're doing like 45 hits in it. So. I forgot. I guess we'll find out, huh? I was like, oh, Elven Shadow wins, because that's just uh, by default, you know, Elven Shadow is supposed to win. Look at that air throw. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, man, that was so beautiful. If Wing Zero could talk in chat right now, he'd be so proud. That's what he gets for spamming caps, I guess, right? <laughs> I don't know why I did that.
Uh, anyway, so let's update our bracket here because we have uh, Hano beat Elven Shadow 2-0. Good job, Hano. So next we're gonna get to uh, Mike Z. Before I start here, let me update the names. We've got Teresa on the left playing Jam. We got Mike Z on the right playing Potemkin. All right. So Mike Z was saying during Frosty Faustings that he fought Teresa like 11 times in a row and won all of them or like almost all of them or something like that. So he doesn't seem like he's too worried about Teresa, but we'll see how well he does. Look at Teresa can't oh man, that's so beautiful. Your your butt slam jump D is nothing compared to uh, jump S from Jam. Ah, oh, Jam's jump H is so cool looking too. How it covers the screen. Man, so brutal. Like he couldn't even gigant around like that. Uh no, that was the last game. Wing didn't make top eight. It's uh Woodcash versus Mr. Two. So you cash up next. Look at me moving the uh, the camera here while I'm trying to call our next bracket and record at the same time. Yeah, really, Teresa. Yeah, you know, Mike's got the Teresa locked in the and, corner uh, here. Fix the shakiness, theoretically. We'll see. Yeah, so that was me saying, saying I'm gonna go on uh, and edit this to make sure that the shakiness is gonna be gone. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> it was not an option. I tried it. Good comeback there with uh, Mike Z for Potemkin. Burst. Any burst that's not punished in these games are good burst. That's how I feel. Yep, that auto corrects. Gotta remember that. Well, when you're doing stuff like like Pop Buster, you have to be able to do it on instinct, right? Because that's that's how you are able to do it so quickly, like Mike's able to. Do. You only do it quickly like that if he's built that muscle memory. If you work on getting rid of that muscle memory, that's not really gonna. It's going to be a detriment to him later on. So he has to kind of work on fighting that muscle memory when he needs to. Not an easy thing to do. Keeping Therese in the corner here. That's going to be important. I think Therese is going to do the... Uh, there we go. Four circle forward kick move. Yeah, it's tough versus Jim. Oh, parried the Giganter. Man. Oh! Oh! Psychic! <laughs> oh, slide head. Oh, no! He didn't jump into Mega Fist. That hit OTG. Yeah, it's not going to kill. He doesn't have meter to kill. Got one card, but it's not going to kill. What's he gonna do here on Wake Up? Yeah, there we go. One one. Okay. And it's just one for Teresa. Score. Ooh. Oh, oh, 
Oh, I was going to get a good conversion off that for a minute there. Even uh, Mike back in the corner here. Got a round buffer, though. Timken in the corner is very important. He's in the corner, you're not in the corner. Good jump back. A jump back dash in order to get away from any of uh, Potemkin's options. There you go, that pass buster did so much damage. Bam, dead. 1-1 one, one here now. This is strong, man. He's not in top eight, so. Oh. But we do wish you were here, Wing. We do wish you were here, Wing. I wish you weren't, uh, I, I wish you weren't, uh, locked out by Nightbot. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that's funny. And you had a very, very good match against Wukash. Much, uh, like, such an improvement over the Frosty Faustings match. <laughs> hey, welcome back. <laughs> I I will fix Nightbot, but in the meantime, uh, don't talk in caps, I guess. <laughs> like, all I wanted Nightbot for was so people could do, like, exclamation point Discord and stuff like that, or exclamation point brackets. Or exclamation point YouTube. Alright, match point here for uh, Teresa. Yeah, I might gotten greedy. Mm. That's that's gotta be it. I can't see Mike coming back from this. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Alright. So that makes it two one Risa. Yeah, I was surprised the Judge Gauntlet lost uh, after all of that. So up next we have Wukash and Mr. Two. Let me go ahead and fix the info on here. All right. Mr. Two got knocked out by Teresa. We don't have that match. Wukash so strong. Really, really good. This is this is Anji play right here. the autocorrect on that kick. That was so funky looking. Man. Anji's so good. <laughs> Anji's... Look at... Oh, man. This butterfly is going through those ball, those justice bombs. Oh, look at how powerful he is. Jealous. Anji's so good. <laughs> oh. 
Wow, he won already. So fast. Bukash decimate, decimating Mr. Two here. Bottom tier. Derp, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Man, that, that Anji diagonal super jump. So good. I think I think my mic cut out because I was moving it and I didn't want to I didn't want to like put all this feedback back into it. But I was saying uh, sorry for the artifacting on the video there. Mr. Two. He's almost got this here. This is the uh, the match point. Ooh, good burst. Could have been punished, but uh, Mr. Two didn't punish it. Yeah, I mean, don't underestimate Mr. Two. He's really good. He, uh, I think he won first place in, uh, yeah, there we go. This is where it's lost, but here's the rest of it. There we go. Uh, my my phone had cut out at one point. I had to restart the, uh, <laughs> restart it here. I know, right? You're going to see one more video where that's going to happen, too. On. Man, this was such a good tournament. Look how close these matches are. Mike Z and Teresa. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Mr. He's done been doing a lot of that stuff. He's been pretty good. Showing Mike Z. Okay, so Wu Cash won. So let's update the uh, bracket on here.
two one wish. So next we're gonna have DQRF and classic fighting game. Hey, that's me. While we ponder this match, let me uh, just update the names on the stream here. Forgot to put it back, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, he did a, a wild throw and I called it and backdashed it earlier. So that was pretty good. I was able to see that. So that's what I was talking about. I was talking about that earlier on where I did the, um, uh, I did the uh, slower Yozansen because if you blocked it, I can then do something afterwards if I do a slower Tiger Knee Yozansen. Yeah, but uh, that's not going to happen again in this match. Um, he knows that I'm backdashing Wild Throw, so he's going to run up and start attacking me now instead of going for Wild Throw, and I'm going to get hit. Yeah. But yeah, you saw, because I did the slower Tiger Knee, I was able to block on the way down. And because I was able to block on the way down, he went to attack. See right there? I backdashed when I thought he was going to wild throw, and he did a kick. He's going to do that from now on. See right there? Didn't it? See? Oh, that was me trying it out when I was just talking about it the day before. I'm trying to test it out. Uh, we both went for air throw right there. I thought I was going to cross him up there, and I didn't. Okay, one point here for DQRF. I was too far away to do that. Uh, it was an extension combo I was trying to do there. I was slightly too far away from the corner for it to work. I know, I know. I know not to do Oren, but I do Oren. Yeah.
Yeah, I was pretty close to getting that round, I think. Uh, oh, well. Too far away from the corner to do the, the follow-up on that. There we go. Yeah, it's going to continue at this point. I was jumping more because I feel like um, I feel like he, it was kind of baiting him to do a few more things if I was in the air. That's why I was kind of doing it a little bit more. Wait. There we go. That's it. Yeah, I was not expecting a dragon install. <laughs> and then I was, I then I had no idea what he's gonna do. Usually, when he does dragon install, he does that um that down kick move because it's something people don't really expect that exists. Uh, so two o DQRF on that one. So let's see what we have next on the list here. Let me just update the bracket here. It's going to be Wukash versus... Uh, oh, we already did this one, did it, right? Mr. Wukash versus... Yeah, we did this one. Oh, Mike Z versus DQRF. This is uh, part way through. You said you think um, Mike Z won one of the matches? I think what I was most worried about was that he's going to drag on the stall and just run up wild throw because <laughs> that's something that he would definitely do. Uh, so let me put this up here. Don't know what the score is. Uh, oops. We're guessing it's one Oh Mike at this point. We didn't record the first part of this. Nostalgic on commentary. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Ooh, that was shit. good. Don't wake daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Good call on the Mother jump. Fucking Mike Z. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Why oh, are you wait, doing wait, that what? against him? Okay, 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 okay. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> Why riot stomp against Mike? Involuntarily. Type. Good gold verse. Ooh, that was totally cross up. Oh, oh missed a clean hit good. box on uh, Temkin there. He just knows all of them. Ooh, Mike did wake up Gigantor. Well, wasn't able to follow up with the pop buster at the end there. There we go. It's gonna be close. Pop buster's so brutal. This is up on the combo that's the follow up with the pop buster. Oh, oh, heavenly. Okay, I think this makes it one. 
Michelangelo Z. Yeah, so that makes uh, makes the score one now. Come on, Marcus. Do this. Show that we reset All this right. to one now. First set goes to Mike. That's one thing Mike loves to do. Get you to get you the uh, to do Okazemi right in your face. He's gonna worry. You're gonna worry about his uh, low kick, or his uh, his overhead like that, or if he waits six frames to go that's into right. pop buster, or if he does slide oh, head or what? something, and, and he just that's how he wins. He gets you the Oki, and then you have to guess, and you guess wrong, and you get hit and die. Mm. <laughs> yeah, don't don't type in cap swing, please. It, it's it's this basic, but it's a three-way guess, and you have to guess the correct one of the three, you know? If you guess the wrong one of the three, you get hit. He, absolutely. Hey, hey. Like, I don't want to do... I don't want to get hit by Pop Buster. That's how Mafia works. Stuck in the corner here. Oh! Oh, nice. that was good. Be able to use the meter at all. Good. Oh, oh nice man. throw. Oh. 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 Pulled a wing zero there. Oh. Pulling a wing zero is throwing the burst and losing the match, right? That's a wing zero. Point it. So Mike won two, and DQF didn't win any. Do we have Elven Shadow versus Wukash? Let me see here. Hold on. Yeah. Stream. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I sort of have uh, Wukash versus uh, Elven Shadow. Sort of. And this one, I've got the, the smallest amount of pieces to it. So you're not going to see much of it. Come on, YouTube. I believe in you. Okay, so this isn't really going to be much, but hey, it's something. I think this is the last round of the whole set. Match point. Ooh, cash. Good throw nice attack. break. Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's all I got. Woo! So we were missing a bit of footage there. Um, next time we'll see. I mean, hopefully we'll, you know, we might get something a little bit better than uh, top eight. But we, we'll get the Aver Media. You'll see this thing. I, my, my, you can't see my, my uh, mouse. But the Aver Media is on the table. It's not working. We've got it working now. 
So we'll be able to use it from now on for any sort of other things. So this kind of thing won't happen again. Um, so that's it for top eight to top four. Uh, do you guys want to watch top four with me? We can kind of comment on it. I'll keep it kind of separate and then I'll upload the, um, the other stuff somewhere else. Let me put this here. Wukash got two points. I don't know how many Elven Shadow got. So yeah, so, so far we have, uh, Classic Fighting Gamer and Mr. Two both got, uh, seventh place. Um, DQRF and Elven Shadow both got fifth place. And we're going to have top four right here. So cool. I'm going to keep going. We'll do top four. And then uh, if I've got time, I'll work on the uh, the B-side tournament. We'll do that tonight also. Uh, it's just top eight for that as well. So give me a moment here. We'll pull up the top four 